Hey everyone, and welcome to week 32 of the OLED burning test. This is for my 65 inch C9 OLED, uh, model number, as you can see just there, 65C9 PLA. And as always, we'll begin with the hours of usage. So UTT, which is currently showing as 1,328. Uh, OLED compensation count, which is your pixel refreshers. So the mini pixel refresher has run 252 times and the major one is a single time. So with that done, let's exit out and restart the test. Okay, so whilst this goes through, firstly, I'm just going to check to make sure the exposure and everything is correct. Brightness looks a little low on the screen, so I'm hoping it does come through okay on the recording. Um, now, with last week's uh, recording, I did notice um, on the actual shutter, um, on the, the viewfinder, sorry, that the shutter speed, there was some sort of uh, variation in it. And I believe right now I do have it set to record at 4K60. But last week's recording, for some reason, there was um, on on the the sort of dark. It was either the white to black or the black to white uh, as it cycled through the grey colours. It seemed to have some weird kind of fluctuations. Those weren't actually visible to the eye. I did notice them on the phone screen, and I remember mentioning it in the video. Um, and obviously, having watched it back, it does. It was recorded in the video. But it's not something that actually shows up on the TV. So for anybody wondering, um, that was basically just down to some some sort of issue with the recording itself. Um, I'm still uh, trying out a few different setups with my my phone rig. So possibly um, because I had just updated to iOS 14, um, it might have actually been on the default, which is 4K 30, I believe, rather than 4K 60. Um, but with that said, um, let's basically just discuss why we do this and who the, what, what the purpose is. So essentially this is for um, keeping a track, a weekly track of my panel, which is uh, a 65 inch C9 OLED and basically was purchased, uh, I believe it was around about the 14th of February 2020. And basically um, I didn't start doing these tests straight away. But um, once I did, I figured it'd be a good way of tracking uh, for anybody out there that's actually either thinking about OLED or worried about uh, burning. And the main reason for that is basically because of the way that this panel's used. So right from the start, this panel has been used for both gaming as well as sports and um, basically content with a lot of static logos. And it's not static in the sense that we're careless. Um, we do still try and... It was, it was basically right at the beginning, so I set up each um, picture profile, if you like, in such a way where I make sure that all of the um, protections are enabled. Um, so pixel refresher, um, pixel shift, um, the logo luminance dimming, all that kind of stuff. I've got all that on and set to the, the highest possible settings. Um, and then beyond that, it's literally just the OLED light on whichever profile we're using. So be that game or sport. Um, I do use the sport profile when watching um, sports using the IPTV apps. And the main reason for that is I've dialed it down. So it's not quite so um, overblown, but it means that I can set that particular one to a much lower OLED light as well as a lower contrast level. And when it comes back to movies and things like that, we can then have that pop again. Um, mainly, uh, but most of the content for when it comes to movies and TV shows will be darkroom kind of experience. So for that reason, it's mainly the ISF darkroom or the cinema, I believe it's the cinema user. Um, I, I think the cinema home is slightly brighter or vice versa. I can't remember exactly which way around it is, but one of the, uh, Basically, in any of your HDR profiles, you have cinema home and cinema user. And I think it's the cinema user one that I actually um, normally go with. So this panel, we've not babied it. We've used it since day one for gaming. We've used it since day one for sports. 
and in between that we've had a lot of uh, movies tv shows all that kind of stuff that does help mix up the content and it results in what you see in front of you so this is as i said week 32 and as you can see from the hours it's had a fair fair amount of hours put onto it as well and it's not got a single bit of burning anywhere and even with the gaming it's been generally the same game fortnite so you've had a lot of static logos in the same position and then with sports obviously sports you always have some sort of a banner uh, sports uh, clock in the, towards either the top left or the bottom left and then you'll always have at least one logo in those particular um, channels as well so for that reason obviously there has been static uh, content on it um, but what I've done is I've literally just mixed that with a lot of movies a lot of tv shows um, some letterbox con uh, content some without letterbox so full screen 16 by 9 aspect ratio so literally just use it as a normal tv don't worry too much about it once once you've done all the initial prep and setup and then beyond that literally just enjoy the tv and that is the main reason for this so then other people out there that are skeptical um, or into minds about whether they they want to risk going for no lead it, a lot of people i'm still getting questions to this day where they're worried about using it for gaming this this tv has been used for gaming so instead of asking me what i suggest is literally just go back through this playlist the LG C9 uh, burning uh, playlist and see for yourself and that way basically you don't need me to convince you you can see that this panel has been used since day one for gaming and you can uh, uh, early on I did make quite a few gaming videos as well as you can see from from the playlist so if you come down there is a gaming folder so as you can see from these um, the first few were literally just tests and then after that there were some really long lengthy videos so obviously you can see it has been used for lengthy periods um, for for gaming so there's no there's no issues when it comes to using it for that kind of content um, with regards to the burning tests it will be in this folder here so lg c9 burning tests so that is the playlist if you're unsure then what you can do is just come in here and watch as you can see so from week seven and it'll be all the way through and now I'm basically doing it weekly and I'm keeping a track of all the hours as well so you can keep a track of how long I'm using it for and also if and when any burning does occur um, what stage it actually occurs out. I'm not expecting to get any burning on this for quite a few years yet at least um, judging by what I've seen so far but this is obviously a much longer video than normal so what I'll do is I'll call it an end at that and hopefully I'll see you next week.